as usual, I was going through uh, to Tall Toby's uh, website, and I was looking for uh, the latest battles, but I found a battle from six days ago, which might have been, it might be it. Uh, I'm not really sure. This is Mr. Alex. This is battle, or excuse me, match two, battle three. It's uh, Mr. Alex versus Arrowick. They must have had a, they must have, I don't know, they must have had one or Hell, I don't know. I don't know what the deal is. Anyway, uh, the part is uh, pivot arm. It's 1550 grams. Uh, the tolerance is plus or minus 2 grams. Um, it's a tier 5, if I didn't say that already. Probably just said it. Um, I modeled this part along with them, and um, Eric and I actually came in at the exact same friggin' time. I mean, the exact time. I've been kind of trying to make it a point to, like, copy paste, do a copy paste. Um, I don't have any more to paste or anything. I mean, I guess I could just paste it on a, a Word document or something. But I, anyway, um, yeah, the exact same time, it, which is kind of exciting for me because Airwick is usually, uh, you know, 10 times faster than me. And I, but, I, um, I was really, really nervous uh, when I was making this part, too. It was almost like I was competing. It was really strange. I was trying to kind of hyperventilate a little bit. I was, you know what I mean? Like, my hands weren't working right. I was, I was, uh, uh, you know, like, breathing really hard. I, I guess I already said that, hyperventilating. But I was uh, maybe not, not hyperventilating, but, you know, lo losing air. Um, uh, it was... I don't know, I felt, like I said, I felt like I was competing. Anyway, this is the part, um, I'll go over the part and how I did it after I, uh, actually, after I make this one, but, uh, so anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and start modeling this. Um, I don't know if I should do ex explanation first, or... Okay, so I'll, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna, so I'm gonna roll the feature tree back. And I'm going to show you the way I did this. So I did this one. Here's the first sketch. Now I'm modeling this like I'm in competition with these guys, right? I mean, okay, so... And then we got a second sketch. Cylinder. Hole through it. And then the distance. What? W-T-H. What the heck? And then third sketch. Now really the first sketch should have been similar to the first sketch. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. I, I really don't. I don't know what it was going on in my mind. But I really, I made this cylinder, then I made this cylinder, then I connected them. It took me three features to get to this point here. Then I cut the center out. Uh, boss extrude, the little tombstone shape, left a little piece of material in here. Uh, I added all my fillets, boop, 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 um, let's see, oh, cut the side off there, mirrored that cut about the top plane, and then I was really worried about that, uh, that little piece of material right there, which, you know, I don't even know what the hell I was thinking with that, because, I mean, like, it, like, as if it weighs anything. It's, it definitely doesn't weigh two grams, right? So, uh, yeah. So, anyway, yeah, so that's, it's 1550 minus that. So, uh, let me, I did delete face, so, okay, so there's delete face. But, yeah, anyway, I was so worried about it being perfect that I actually did a delete face on a part that doesn't weigh anything, uh, or has no, almost zero mass. Anyway, here, so let's start with this guy, MMG 1060, top plane sketch, 52 is one, 104. What is this, 50? Okay. Uh, 18 is 36. With a 20 circle. Let's connect those guys. Just for mirroring purposes. This is a good in here a little bit. Alright. We can mirror this. 
this guy, about this guy, then we can add this dimension, which is 152. Okay, good. Then let's just go ahead and do the whole thing here. Uh, we got a 65, which is 130 radi radius. 65, which is 130 diameter. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, these two guys parallel. I could have made them a little par more parallel, I guess. Um, here's 8. Thickness. We're going to mirror this guy and just I'm going to go ahead and trim that back off right there so we're going to extrude from mid plane 66 and I'm going to take that make that big cylinder and then I'm going to extrude from mid plane again I'm going to extrude that to 40 and I'm going to grab all these guys do 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 Okay, good. And I'm going to go back to my front plane, start a sketch. I'll make a slot here. I'm going to make the top of that slot collinear with the top of the part. Go center is uh, center to center is 65. Radius is 18 with a circle. Uh, Let's see, da, 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 15 through. So we'll extrude that mid plane 16. Great. And so we'll take the, let's make some fillets, which are sixes. Now I'm going to go here to that first one. Yep. Right click. Start a sketch here. I'm going to convert that entity. I'm going to go out to here though. And then I'm just going to kind of start selecting some faces. Oh, some edges rather that I need to convert. So those guys are converted and let's make a sketch coincident with that. So let's cut that down. 10, select contour, there we go. So top plane, mirror, and there's the part. So 150 grams. Three minutes, twelve seconds. Pretty, pretty quick. I don't feel nerv all nervous and scared and stuff like I was. But uh, I, I think maybe this might be the faster approach. I don't know. I have no idea. Again, with this one, I mean, with this one, I came at the same time I did that Airwick did. So I don't know. Um, I was I was pretty surprised about that. Of course, Airwick was at a disadvantage. He was live. Um, you know, he was modeling in front of people. Uh, the chat, blah, blah, blah. But to me, you know, I think, I think this one is, is probably the best way. I mean, one, two, three, six features, which, I mean, features don't matter. Feature count, it doesn't matter. It's never really mattered to me. It seems kind of like an old way of, of looking at things. Why is that? Why you got so many features in that feature tree? Yeah. Well, I mean, who cares? <laughs> if it's done right, yeah. Anyway, so there's that part. I did it in about uh, three and a half minutes. Not, uh, not too bad. It's a good part, fun part. Tier five, and the parts only get harder. So, we'll see you later. Thanks.